this is my very brief video for Once Upon a Time, Welcome to Storybrooke. This was a really enjoyable episode that was emotionally heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time. In the beginning of the episode, they did a several flashbacks to 1983 when Regina first did The Curse. This is a really bad angle. Okay, there's no way. I really should have had this on my lap, but oh well. This was a beautifully done episode. I really liked seeing the flashbacks. I thought it was kind of entertaining how they made Regina kind of creepy, kind of still very... Uh, oh, episode that's supposed to make me feel very sympathetic towards Regina, which I see how they did it. But me being me, I can't. I want to be sympathetic towards her, but I can't fully. It's a mixed relationship. I really do love Regina. I love Lana Perella. How do we say her name? I love her. She's great as Regina. She's perfect. Every one line or every execution is done so very well. Everything she says is executed very well. And her costumes are great either. How can you not really like her at all? Um, but still, she's the villain, so I'm not as sympathetic towards her as I am towards Jeffrey Stilskin. Yeah, but yes. Done very well. We finally know who the hell this stranger is. He is the little boy that Regina apparently took in 1983. Plot twist, that was the what the hell just happened moment. This was a huge spoiler filled that was it, and I should have said that in the beginning, but oh well. This was beautiful. I really liked it. And the preview for next week, we finally freaking see Pinocchio August. But he's all wood and awesome graphics for it. It just he's literally it's just so cool. It makes it made me think of Doctor Who's Christmas special for this year. Well, last year when yes, last year's from twenty twelve Christmas special. Yay, excitement. Well, sorry, twenty eleven failure. Twenty eleven Doctor Who's Christmas special when it was the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe themed, but yes. Um beautiful what's my time. I'm so very excited. Uh, I'm cannot wait for the finale, part two, part two, part of finale. I don't know if it's ne next week. I'm not really sure. I haven't counted, but I'll look. But either way, this was beautifully done. I'm so happy. Uh, I loved the Groundhog's Day kind of vibe with Regina walking around, repeating her day, how she says hi to Mr. Harp, Hop, Dr. Harper, um, nod, and we saw, got to see um, Red and Grandma, and it just, it was, it was very exciting. And Graham, I miss Graham. That was very sad to see Graham again, because... We don't have Graham and her. I'm very excited to see when Captain Hook comes back because I can't help it and I love Colin and he's really fun to stare at because he's Hook and he's really cool and he's got the guy lines are going on. But yeah, it's all exciting. But yes, this is a very, very beautiful episode and I'm going to go away now with my bad lighting and weird hair and weird vision on my computer as I shake the screen. Ah. Oh, and I also really shouldn't read this before I go to bed because my dreams are just getting really weird. Nothing bad, but just really, really weird.